hello viewers welcome to this fourth video and a final video of google classroom in the previous video we have seen in a classwork how you can create topics how you can float material for the students similarly we have also seen how to place assignment how to make evaluation of that particular assignment and in this last video we we'll try to focus on an important aspect which is introduced by Google Classroom and that is Google Quiz. In addition to that, we'll try to also throw some light on Google Grades, okay, how we can assign the grades and how we can maintain or manage that particular grades. So we'll move on to our Google Classroom. So this is the Google Classroom I have opened. And just like we have seen, do saturday assignment number one in the previous session we whatever is the assignment we have given so that is directly shown onto the desktop so i'll click on that particular classroom okay so under the classwork we have covered some of the topics like we have already seen assignment we have already gone through material we have seen topic and now we'll move on to the next but most important feature provided by google and that is a quiz assignment Sometimes it may be needed for us to conduct a quiz among the student or of the class. So at that time, you can use this quiz assignment feature provided by Google Classroom. So I'll click on this quiz assignment. So it is asking for the title for the quiz. So I'll try to give the title will be something quiz number one. So as it is my very first uh, assignment, so I have given that particular one quiz number one. Okay. In the instruction, I'll try to give a very simple instruction. All questions are, are compulsory. Okay. So now, once I have created all these particular part, next part is we have to click on this blank quiz. Okay. You have this particular option which is appearing under this particular and that is a blank quiz. If you are already familiar or if you have already seen some videos which are related with Google Forms, then it is simple for you to make creation of a particular Google quiz because for Google quiz, you need to have some basic knowledge of uh, Google Forms. So I'll click on this particular Google quiz. So it is opening, um, it is giving me a very simple Google form in which a blank quiz appearing before me. So again, I am giving a title to that particular will be quiz number one. Okay. And then we'll try to start with our questions. Okay. All the questions, whatever are needed to be added. So appearing over here, you can add a question from this particular point. So I'll try to add my very first question. Okay. The question will be something who is the father of computer computer. Okay, this is the particular question I have added. Okay, now I'm going for an options. So options will be the first one. I'll try to give something in Lee. Next one, Alan Turing. Okay, the third option I'll give will be Charles Babbage. The last option I am going to give will be Virat Kohli. Okay, once I have given all these particular options, okay, now your part is over. Okay, just after that particular one, the next part you have to carry out will be regarding whatever are the points which are needed to be given. So as far as this particular question is concerned, first of all, we'll try to click on the answer key. So what is the answer key? So I'll click on this answer key. So answer key will be, of course, answer of this particular question is Charles Babbage is the father of computer. So I'll click on this particular option and then we'll move on to the points. How much marks needs to be given to this particular question? So if a correct answer will be given by the student, he has been allotted two marks or two points. Okay, so two marks I have given. Okay. Once we have added the very first question, the next part, again, to add a next question, you have to click on this particular option and that is add question. So I'll click on add a question. Another particular window appears before me. Now I'll try to put a question and that particular question will be of the type something short answer. Okay. 
So under this particular part, I'll give the ICT is referred as okay and in this particular one it is expected that he should give an answer and that is he should give the answer will be something information communication technology okay so this way the particular answer needs to be given okay so i'll try to give the answer information communication technology okay so this way i have given the particular answer okay so this is my second question next information communication technology i'll try to put it over here also in the answers bar control c and i'll paste it over here v Okay, so this way I have added the particular answer. Okay, next, if you like try to remove the particular feedback, so you can be able to remove it. Okay, so it is better to remove the particular feedback. I'll remove the particular one. Okay, so I have added the particular question. Okay, just after that, I'll try to add the third question in this particular quiz. Again, we have given two points for this particular question. Okay, next, I'll try to add a question of the type check boxes okay which of the following are related with cricket okay which of the following are related with cricket so again i'll try to put the options so i'll try to give the name virat kohli Okay, just after that, I'll give the name of Amitabh. Amitabh Bachchan. Okay, and the last option I'll give will be MS Dhoni. Okay, these are the options I have given. Now, once this particular has been given, the next part again, we have to put, click on an answer key. Okay, so answers of this particular question will be funny. Zahi Virat Kohli and another is an MS Dhoni. Then again, I'll try to put uh, marks to this. Okay, again, two marks I have given. So in this way, you can put any number of questions in this particular test. So I have added three questions. One is a MCQ type, multiple choice answer. Okay, and another is a fill in the blank or a short type of answer. Okay, so after this particular, we'll try to click on to the next option very key part of this particular once we have added all the questions within this uh, google form you have to click on a send okay the moment i'll click on a send multiple options are available whether you'd like to send it by mail whether you'd like to send it in the form of a link so i have to click on this particular link option okay of course this link is a larger one so what i am going to make i am going to shorten that link so I'm clicking on the shorten link and again I am copying the particular link. So I, what I have performed, I have created the test by using the blank quiz option and after clicking on that particular, I'll repeat the procedure, whatever we have created. Okay, I'll click on send. Once we have clicked on send, you have this link option available. So click on that link. The link is the larger one. So I'll try to shorten that link by clicking on the shorten link option and you have to copy this particular link. So I have copied the particular link. And now the next part is, we have to again move back onto the original place, okay? So, so over here, whenever we have reached onto the particular quiz, so we have to add, okay? What we, add, what we have to add, whatever is the link which we have already copied. So I'll try to click on the link, okay? I'll paste it, Control V, and again, I'll click on an add link. So this way, this particular quiz now is getting added, okay? Or this particular quiz will be linked with the quiz, okay? Once this particular has been done, again, most of the options are the same with whatever we have seen already with the uh, Google assignment. So this way, 
I'd like to send it for all the student. Next one, marks. In this particular case, I hope we have given just three questions with six marks. So I'll try to add six points over there only. No due date we are going to place. And in which topic? So I'll try to now put the unit number three. Okay. So, so once we have added all these particular thing, you can click on assign. By clicking on an assign, you can see under this unit number three, now we have a particular quiz and I'll try to click on that particular quiz. So you can see over here, turned in zero, assigned one. So for a single student, it has been assigned and how many of them have been turned in? So at moment, zero students have turned in this particular quiz. So in this way, you can create or you can be able to call any particular quiz. Okay. Now again, we'll move on to the part of a student. So in the student side, I'll go. Okay. So I'll log in into the student account. Okay. I'll click on classroom. So this is the particular classroom, which is appearing for the student. Again, I'll click on that particular student SGBU FTP. Okay. Under the classwork again, this particular will appears on both the places, just like it is available in the stream also. Irajay Boyer posted a new assignment quiz, number one. Okay. In addition to that, you can go from the classwork also. Just like in a classwork, now you can see we have all the three options. That is un, uh, unit number three is also appearing. Up till now, we have only unit number one and one uh, unit number two is appearing for the student. But now the unit number three is also appearing. I'll click on this quiz. So this particular quiz will be available in the form of a uh, Google form. So I'll click on that particular form. Okay. Next one. As far as options are concerned, I'll try to add the option. Okay. Suppose Charles Babbage. Okay. Next one. Information communication technology. And last one. Virat Kohli and MS Dhoni. Okay, so this way I have given the particular thing. Okay, and I'll click on submit. Okay, so by clicking over here on a view score, the student could be able to find it out how many marks he or she has got. So just like in this particular case, I have uh, given all the correct answers. So the total points given will be six out of six so this way it is possible for you to conduct a very nice quiz for the particular student so this is the simplest option of assigning a quiz to the particular student okay so now as we have given all these particular tasks the next most important thing i'd like to show you over here will be regarding the grades as far as grades are concerned these are the particular grades which are appearing to the particular student just like over here you can see up till now this quiz marks are not yet uploaded over here but as far as the previous assignment is concerned Saad Boyer has got seven marks out of ten okay and class average is also seven of course in this particular case we have a single student so obviously it is not a better to see it over here so what I am, I am going to make I am going to start with some new classroom or I, my already existing classes I am going to take so that you have a better idea regarding other features of this particular grades. So for that what I am going to make I am going to start it with a new Google classroom. So I will again click on Google classroom. So I'm going to take my class and that is class of MSc second year. So I'll click on that particular class. Okay. Now the moment I'll click on the grades, you can see whatever are the tests which I have conducted. So you can see over here. Okay. These are the names of the students which are appearing over here. Okay. In this particular uh, grade option, you have an option of 
sort the student by last name or first name so you can be able to sort out the name of the particular student as per your need so i'll try to make it sort by first name so these are the particular one just like you can see akanksha akanksha these are the particulars appearing uh, at the beginning okay similarly you can see over here these are the particular assignment marks i have given so class average marks will be 16.11 in this particular case out of 25 it is 19.61 and these are the particular marks which are being appearing you can see one student gayatri kolhapur is missing he has not opted any particular assignment so it is appearing over here that she has missed the test so in this way you have a very nice presentation of the particular uh, grades okay another very important thing you can convert this particular grades in the form of a csv files also so i have clicked on the grades i'll click over here on this particular wheel icon which is generally used for the setting so i'll click on that particular one just a moment okay so 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 these are the particular grades which are appearing over here and by using this particular grades it is possible for anybody to create any any operation on these particular grades okay so as far as class works are concerned just like we have already seen ki just like after completion of an assignment it is possible for you it is possible for you to check the details just like over here you can see ki out of 20 students turned in zero okay assigned to means out of 20 students 18 have performed the particular assignment okay two have yet not submitted means of course they have not submitted and out of 20 student 18 have been graded so 18 plus 2 will be 20 okay so this way you can be able to create or you can be able to get the details regarding the uh, assignments whatever are being carried out within the class so i hope you must have got all the details regarding the google classroom how we can be able to create various particular operations like assignments quiz you can how you can be able to float any material or any topic within the particular classroom and similarly we have seen ki how is it possible for us to create the grades of the particular student so this way i i hope you must have understood ki what are the different operations which are which are possible for us with this google classroom okay so i hope that all of you have understood somewhat little brief regarding this google classroom and in a near future definitely you will try to use these features of google classroom in your class so thank you thank you very much for listening or for viewing this particular videos if you have any queries you can contact me on the particular contact number which is given over here thank you